Adaptive Reporter can help in moving from Management Reporter by harvesting the row definitions and dimension sets already in Management Reporter. Active Reporter has a similar ability to group accounts in rows called rollups. When extracted from Management Reporter, row definitions are turned into rollups. Here, for example, is an income statement row definition for Fabricam in Management Reporter. When comparing the dimensions selected for row 130, Sales, in Management Reporter, to Rollup Item 130 in Active Reporter, you can see that the imported rollup captures the same range of the account segment. In order to move a row definition or dimension set to Active Reporter, go to the Rollup folder under Setup in the Active Reporter package. At the top of the screen, there is a button labeled Bots, and here you will find the two options for importing from Management Reporter. We will outline the steps for row definitions here, but the steps for dimension sets are fairly similar. Select New Rollup from MR Rows. Click OK to begin. You must provide authentication in order to read the Management Reporter tables. Here, you see a listing of all the Management Reporter row definitions associated with the current company in Active Reporter. In some cases, you may need to enter S and show row definitions for all companies, or use the N and P keys to navigate through multiple pages. When you find the row definition you wish to transfer, enter the corresponding number and click OK. By default, the new rollup's name is the same as the row definition in Management Reporter. You can edit it now if desired. The bot will run and create the new rollup. Review the results and click Next to view the new rollup or click Finish to close the window. Activate the rollup using the button at the top of the screen and the rollup is ready for use in financial designs. Depending on your version of Active Reporter, there could be one or two items that need to be addressed in the new rollup before activating. If you have Active Reporter 7.17 or earlier, you will be unable to import items which use the negative operator. The import process will display results notifying you of affected rollup items. The recommended workaround is to rewrite the rollup item with ranges that skip over. Beginning in Active Reporter 7.18, you have the ability to import row definitions with the negative operator. See the release notes on intuitive.com forward slash Active Reporter help for details. By design, no versions of Active Reporter support including an account in a rollup more than once. This is to prevent unintentional duplication of amounts in your financial statements. If you wish to use an account more than once in a financial design, this can be easily accomplished by using a second rollup or a direct reference to the account. If the row definition for Management Reporter refers to a single account more than once, the rollup will fail to activate with the error message, the rollup is ambiguous. To view the instances of ambiguity, select the rollup and click the check button at the top of the screen. Use the results to edit the rollup to include each listed account only once. Once all ambiguity is corrected, the rollup can be activated and used in a financial design.